Well, do you have any advice for a 16-year-old who's in representing their country to other young people who may have the same ideas? I think they should practice as hard as possible and in the correct way. Not in, they should be true to us uh, themselves. I was born in the India of 1990s. A year before my birth, India had supposedly attained its economic independence. It was the same year when the Bombay Stock Exchange crashed. The little master Sachin Tendulkar made his World Cup debut. It was an era when no one heard of Instagram filters or social media influencers. It was a glorious age of innocence. Back in the days when people felt unhappy or stressed, they would visit their grandparents or meet their friends over a game of cricket. They would dine together with family, friends, without browsing their Instagram feeds. But today, the world has changed. We are living in a unique moment in time, where our generation is probably more isolated than we have ever been. Regardless of all this stupendous scientific knowledge, we can summon at will. At a time when there are ravages of pandemics and climate change, most of our generation is anxiously spending day in and day out perfecting their prank videos, all for some cheap likes, comments and subscriptions. And as Gen Z's come of age, India will become an influencer-driven economy. And why not? An average college graduate from India's top business school rates an 18 lakh per year. An influencer with more than a million followers could net that much in a month. And at a moment when virtually every other industry is shrinking, the influencer marketing industry is projected to be worth $15 billion by 2022 and currently accounts for roughly 15% of the total global ad spend. The influencer economy has infiltrated every last sector of the market. With Hollywood casting Instagrammers for their massive online followings to pop stars seeking out TikTokers in the hope of achieving virality. You can be in Kolkata or Karachi or Kansas for that matter and you can get a million followers overnight. And that's crazy. Wealth fame, status has never been more attainable for anyone in the history of the world the way it is right now. There's a pantheon of influencers who are live streaming when they eat, what they wear, why they smile, whom they date and how they broke up. In fact, the best and the most popular influencers are those who engage fans and make them feel like an active participant in an intimate community. But the question is, why you as a viewer are compelled to get to know the lifestyle of a complete stranger on the internet? The short answer is loneliness. And as loneliness becomes an epidemic, the segment will grow. One of the most fascinating stories of the pandemic and one closely tied to the loneliness epidemic has been the explosive growth of OnlyFans. OnlyFans, which is about 98% adult content, added as many as 500,000 users per day in 2020 and swelled to 400 million in revenues. On OnlyFans, men are paying for intimacy and here, unlike the real world, men do not face rejection. A more recent and bizarre phenomena is creators sleeping while live streaming. And there's even a leaderboard for sleep streams. YouTube stars who are teaching the world how to live a happy life are actually fuck ups in their own personal lives. Instagram influencers cornering your eyeballs with how I booked a one crop profit in stock markets never actually invested a dime before the 2020 crash. They all are as clueless about life as the people who gawk at them and pay them for advice. I'm merely riding the wave of your insecurities 
for as long as they can. And as you further marinate in the jacuzzi of personalized algorithms, you can't help but feel imperfect, unproductive and average. But the brutal truth is that you cannot be amazing all the time. All of this every person can be extraordinary and achieve greatness stuff is basically just jerking off your ego. Do not let these new age influences decide what is great for you. They are milking millions of your insecurities. Real life is normal and average. And it is absolutely imperfectly perfect and beautiful.